Hey, what's going on everybody? Sunny Boy 80 here, and welcome back to another video. But today I'm here continuing my Let's Play series on Mega Man X for the SNES. This is a good game. I actually really like this game. So yeah, uh, anyways, if you're new to the channel, be sure to watch the video and see if you actually like me or not. <laughs> and then determine if you want to subscribe and like the video. But, um, yeah, so, and also if you've not seen the other videos in the series, go ahead and watch those. Because I don't know why you're watching Part 3 and not Part 1 and 2, but whatever. You do you, I guess. Today we're playing through Launch Octopus and I think Boomer Kawanger's stage, which, um, yeah, so Launch Octopus has a very beautiful looking stage, a very nice stage here, but, um, it's, it's just not good, sadly, it's a bad stage. I like how it looks, I love, like, the aesthetic of it, it looks great, like, look at that sand effect, look at, look at the ground, that looks really good for this nest, like, this is a great looking game, but, but god, they just not know how to cook with some levels in this game and, and honestly I like most levels in this game I don't really hate any of them like that but um this one is definitely one of my least favorite that's for sure and also I'm pretty sure there's a sub tank or a heart tank in this level that I don't remember and these eel guys are so <laughs> so annoying I'm gonna rewind a lot in this episode probably so Sorry if you think that makes me less of a man. Well, I mean, it kind of does. But, I've beaten this game like 50 times without rewinding, so please leave me alone about that. Like, I literally have been playing this game since I was a little kid. I have beaten it multiple times without ever using any cheats or anything. Alright, so let's go through that. I mean, even on PS4, you, you have to beat it without any rewind, because that collection doesn't even support a rewind, which is so weird. And, it, like, it's just dumb, I don't know. I like the legacy collections of all the Mega Man games, but they are pretty, like, not very good. I mean, they're fine, but... Okay, let's rewind right there, because I, I don't know what that was. They're fine, but, like, they're not the best thing in the world by any means at all. Alright, we got a spam right here. Oh my god, why do you have so much health? I sw What? Okay. If you don't blow up in two seconds, okay, thank you so much. Give me that health replenish. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Uh, and also, up here, there is a boat that I have to go on to, I think. Yeah, right here. Oh, my God. I don't remember how to... Do I just beat it senseless and kill it? Do I kill the whale boat, man? <laughs> is he technically living, or is he just a boat? We'll never know. We might have to ask Hideo Kojima. Even though he doesn't make this game, let's ask him anyway, because he probably offers the best input on it. Okay, so this... Oh, okay, yeah, I remember this now. He This crashes down, and there's a secret area underneath this. Dang, it has been a long time since I've played this game. Wow, I have not... Oh my god, I have to fight a second mini-boss down here, too. I remember this. Yeah, this is not the only mini-boss in this stage. I have to fight this same guy again in a minute. Which is a very obnoxious. This is a terrible boss. Not even a full boss. If they made this into a full boss, I would have understood it. But no, he's just a little guy in the stage. He's not even a boss. I gotta be very careful to not uh, fall into spikes right here, too. Because they're down there. I think he's not... I think this one might actually have less health than the, like the main boss. Because uh, I feel like I've always taking less time on him, but I just died, so who knows. Who knows about me? I guess my opinion's just trash, because I'm bad at the game. Look, it's been a long time since I played this game, okay? Just just let me be. Oh, how did I miss that turn? Okay, I don't know what happened right there. Yeah, this guy's annoying. You just have to hit his face a bunch. Come here, buddy. You're kidding. Alright, sorry for that little edit there, but um that did take me a little bit because that's just a long fight, which is really annoying. All that for one heart tank, but <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, so, yeah, I just try to edit half that out. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm so glad that I have rewind. 
But yeah, I don't know where the other armor pieces are actually, I kind of forgot. And here, as you can see, we're going to have to fight the exact same boss again, which is great. He takes just as long this time. I don't even know if he has a weakness or not. I don't think he does, but uh, besides like the charge shot, I guess, which is the only thing that's really good against him. But this one burrows into the ground. He doesn't just chill above land or above the floor. Okay. Yeah, this one's annoying. This it, this whole level used to just absolutely ruin me as a kid. I'd never got anywhere in it. I literally quit the game when I was younger because of this level. But then I beat it and I was like, this is the best game ever made. So, yeah, honestly, I do kind of glaze this game a bit too much, I feel like. Because I do say this is the best X game ever made. But, because, I mean, in my opinion, it is. It is my favorite. I don't like X2 and X3 that much. And I actually have never even beaten X4, but... Or X5, or X6, or X7. But I did beat X8, and that one's also pretty good. But, you know. Yeah, I didn't really beat any PS1 games, just because I kind of just didn't want to play them, really. I When I played them originally, when I played 2 and 3 originally, um, I was playing them on Legacy Collection. And they do have input delay, so I might dislike it because of that. But, not only that, but also... Um, what is it? But not only that, but I just like didn't want to. I was playing them all at once. Like I just like beat one game and went to the next. I didn't want to. I don't know. By the time I got to X4, I just didn't really even want to play the games anymore. And I did like X4's art style change a lot. That game does look really good, but I don't know. And then X5, I played a little bit of, and that game was really bad. And X6 is also really really bad. Not really. Eh. X5 is okay. X6 is not the best. Um, I'm actually gonna die right here so I can get all my health back. But um, yeah, so X X six and five aren't good. X seven is hated universally for a lot of good reasons. It's not good at all. And X eight, a lot of people are very mixed on it. I think it's good. I think it's a good game. It definitely has a lot of issues, like waiting too long for a lot of the things in the game. Like you literally have to wait for every single thing in that game. It is so obnoxious. Like clearing a level is gonna take you like maybe. 13 minutes to even just watch the results screen which I know that sounds insane if you've never played the game you don't know what I'm talking about but like Mega Man X8 has some insane like just waiting it's just so it's so padded out it's annoying which you know I get it that game isn't that long but no one cares they should have just made it like shorter anyway no one likes when X games are super long anyway like Mega Man games are not meant to be hour-long experiences I mean, they are. Hold on, that's what I was trying to say. They are meant to be hour-long experiences. They're not supposed to be, like, games that take you multiple days to beat or anything. Like, I just want to sit down and beat a Mega Man game in one day. Is that so much to ask? There we go. That is, uh, that has a launch octopus, which, dang, I already feel like I played two whole levels, but I only played one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna edit out some of those mini-bosses, because that took me a long time. And yeah, there we go. So that is launch octopus, and now we have... I think a torpedo item? I'm not sure. You get homing torpedo, yes, okay. And that is good against Boomer Kawanger. Who is this guy? Who is actually not that bad. I actually like his item that he gives you because it is so easy to just cheese uh, Sting Chameleon with his item. It's so funny. Ooh, wait. This looks... Have I just not played this game in a really long time, or does this look different? I swear I don't remember this level looking like this. Okay, you're an op, bro. Chill. God. Get on my nerves. I don't even know what they're called. They're not Sniper Joes, but they want to be Sniper Joes. Okay, chill. Alright. I'm just gonna dash through literally all of this. I don't remember the stage looking like this. I mean, I remember these sections, but I don't remember them looking like this. I thought they looked different. So this is like a cool, like, grungy, like, junkyard looking level. I remember it looking like red and, like, yellow, kind of. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Or maybe I just can't remember literally anything ever. Which, that's probably the case. I'm bad at remembering stuff. I have like early onset uh, Alzheimer's or something. I don't know. Probably not. Hopefully not. That'd be really bad. 
I'd hate that, but <laughs> I'm like 80 years old and decrepit. Someone asked me about my YouTube channel. I'm like, what? You, YouTube? Oh my God! How did that even happen? What? Okay. Ah uh, yes, I remember the good old days of playing Mega Man X and dying every 10 seconds. <laughs> That's that. That was real content back then. Not like these YouTubers nowadays. <laughs> All they do is post vlogs and let's plays of uh, Minecraft probably Minecraft's probably still gonna be a huge content farm in the future I really don't doubt that okay pal we get it I think there's literally an item in this stage that you have to get like a sub tank or something but I think the only way to get it is literally by beating the stage and replaying it because you need boomer Coinger's item which is the like the the boomerang which a Kowanger is an uh, Australian animal, I think it is. I don't know. It's pretty racist, don't you think, that they made the only Australian character use a boomerang? That's not funny, Nintendo. I mean, uh, Capcom. Sorry, not Nintendo. Nintendo has nothing to do with these games. If they did, these games would probably be straight dog. Which they kind of already are, but... <laughs> as soon as like you get past like X4, they're all pretty bad. Except for X8, which, I mean, even then, X8 does have a lot of issues. Look at this. Yeah, you have to use the Boomer uh, Kowanger item to literally get this item right here. Uh, I think so. I don't think there's any humanly possible way to ever get this. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to go through that. I don't care. This part's cool, though. I actually like these enemies. They're, they have a cool, like, uh, idea. It's like you kill them and you jump on their dead bodies and use them as platforms. I mean, that's a lot darker than it actually is, the robots, but... No, I mean, pretty much that's what you're doing in the first place. No, that's pretty bad. I remember this platforming section used to get me real bad when I was a kid. This game was... this game is hard. This game was hard to me a long time ago. Okay, let me just charge up again to make this a lot easier on myself. There we go. Oh, wait, he's not dead? Did I go slightly off screen and then he respawned? What? What just happened there? Okay, well I can just literally run up the wall anyway. So we gotta use rolling shield now? Yes. I think this is rolling shield, I don't know. Or no, we have to use torpedo. Okay, I'm dumb. Oh, dang, X's torpedo design is pretty sick. Okay, this is actually a really easy fight. You literally just gotta hit him. Cause he can't dodge it, cause this whole game is he's really fast, but now you're just shooting him with a homing attack, so... There you go, that's actually a really, really easy fight. I love X's torpedo design, though, I never really even pay attention to it, that's pretty sick. Those colors, like, fit him really well, I feel like. Yeah. Boomerang Cutter, okay. Cool, so that's actually um that's actually the end of the video then. So yeah, that's about it for this one. Um I don't know. Uh, I'll see you guys next time question mark. But um yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out the other videos if you have not already, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.